So then welcome to a brand new episode and it is the finale and as you can see Ducati contract like I said at the start of the video I swapped out my manager and whoa swoop in get that Ducati contract in the bag and if you look we've got a high chance of signing with Pramac and also the Patronus team now I think we're just gonna have to go with the Ducati contract I mean we want a factory ride don't we so let's go in accept for next season that we're going to be on a Ducati and the factory one two season contract very nice indeed so yeah looking forward to that signed our new contract for the uh, Ducati team under then we've got this new frame upgrade which is going to improve the reactivity so the bike is looking very strong headquarter level two out of two you know, we're maxed out the bike pretty much, I think. So, yeah, if we take a look at the stats, we've had a fantastic end to the season. We've, as the upgrades, uh, the final upgrades have come through, we've got back to form. Obviously, we were Moto3 champion and Moto2 champion. So, it was always going to be a tough ask to do it here in the MotoGP. But we've set ourselves up next season nicely with a factory ride and we just got to do it. I mean, we're fourth in the championship right now, so we're doing pretty good. Okay, then, for the final race. It is wet. <laughs> There's no point doing dry practice. Let's just go straight into qualifying. We'll go for Q1, try and get to Q2 and see what we can do in the race. And thank goodness we've wrapped up that contract negotiation for next season with Ducati. We've got the contract in the bag. Let's just enjoy say enjoy loosely because i don't like these conditions at all let's just get through to the end of the season and get get on to the next one with ducati look at the rear tire again the soft rear tire just doesn't get on well with me in these wet conditions but i can't get on with a medium it doesn't give me enough grip and we were bang on in the first few sectors but lost a lot of time in the final sector over half a second in the final sector okay we're gonna switch out the rear tire I may as well switch out the front one as well because um, I don't know if we'll be able to although I need to make sure I save tyres and I don't know what tyre I want for the race but soft front go for another soft rear I will use a medium in the race I think um, but I'm going to put some extra fuel in because I'm going to potentially do hot lap, cool down lap hot lap just to just to uh, cool down the rear tyre if we want to go for two laps in this stint so let's do this I'm going to let Bastianini go I'm going to tuck right in behind him. I don't think that's going to work. We're going to get a toe and just storm past him and he's back right off as well. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this anyway. Let's see what we can do this time. We went two tenths quicker on this lap. So that's going to put us P9. So I'm going to do a cool down lap, cool down the rear tyre. And then we'll go again. So we'll cool the rear tyre right down. Let's see what we can do. Got Mark Marquez and Lequo in the back there battling, but uh, yeah, back right off. Oh, we're off the pace again. Oh, let's just call it quits and get on with the race. <laughs> it doesn't really matter this. Um, we've got what we needed out of this season, which is a factory ride, but P9 in the wet. I don't know what it is. I just can't do it in the wet. I just struggle. But let's see what we can do with them. Right then, starting all the way back here with Vinales. That's not good. Mark Marquez as well. And Marini. But we're off to a uh, half-decent start. I don't know what this race has in store for us, but let's see if we can cut back to the inside and look at the frame rate dropping. Wow. Sitting in the spray of everyone isn't going on with my computer. Going right up the middle of the pack here. Sneaking on underneath, understeering as everybody in this pack is trying to jostle for position. Marquez, coming, well, our teammate Alex Marquez trying to come back at us. We're actually pushing the Tech 3 through. Come on! It's Petrucci. Into P15 we go, P14. Much better. I think it's in the qualifying. I don't know what it is, we can't string a lap together. But in the race, we might do a bit better and there's a huge crash at the back. Akuami's there on the inside. We're stuck on the outside. Just trying to find grip off the racing line. Luca Marini going back through. Oh my god, it's Bastianini and Marini. 
on the Ducatis that those Avintias, they do well in the uh, the wet conditions, don't they? Obviously, that team's been rebranded to the Aramco VR46 team next year. I'm excited to see uh, Rossi's MotoGP team. But, uh, yeah, we've got six laps to go ahead of us now. And you can see already we're dropping off the pace. Parking the bus at the minute. Let's just get this bike home. Bit of part mode three down the straight now. See them pull away a bit from Binder and Alex Marquez. Closing up a little bit on uh, Alicia Spargo. Very nice. Into turn number one. Hook up a good exit if we can. We're going to be going four wide here into turn two. I'm on the outside, but they're going to go deep. Can we get a bit of a switch back? There's a little bit of a gap and contact. And down we go. That puts us right. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> completely lit up the rear as we go for the restart oh my god what am I doing <laughs> what am I doing right finally we're off and look at that gap to Savadori 10 seconds man I don't think I'm going to be able to make that up I don't think we're going to be able to make that up at all, are we? So I decided to retire in the end. Um, yeah, just completely messed up that race, didn't we, at the start? Wasn't, wasn't in the right mindset at all. But uh, in the end, then, we end up in sixth in the championship. That cost us. That cost us. Hopefully, on the Ducati, we'll get um, a bit, a bit uh, better at the wet weather riding. Maybe that bike will help us out. The Honda, not the best at all for bike control, but we actually beat Repsol Honda. Well, beat joint, joint points. That is interesting. That is interesting. So then, a bit of a shorter episode as obviously we didn't get very far in the race and we actually lose some reputation hopefully that doesn't lose us our um our contract with Ducati I wouldn't have thought it would it's our only DNF of the season look at those results three wins and five podiums not bad for our rookie season and in total that's 13 wins 23 podiums and 21 poles hopefully we can get back to some solid form from the start of the season next time out and in terms of the standings our champion this year is Mir he was able to defend his championship Vignale is 55 points behind Rins P3 Quattararo wasn't quite able to do what maybe we expected him to do and take the championship Jack Miller P5 and then we ended up P6 not bad at all I will take that and I'm thoroughly looking forward to getting into our Ducati season. So make sure you get subscribed to the channel for plenty more of that. But as always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll catch you in the next one.